Good morning, everyone. Look what I have out. It is my six quart crock pot. I'm super excited to show you how to make my crock pot chicken, sausage, and rice. It is very delicious, full of flavor, almost like a jambalaya without all of the Cajun flavors to it. So that's where we're going. Nice and warm, cozy for these cold, wintry, blustery days. Let's make this simply delicious. Now in the bowl of my six quart crock pot, I have three skinless, boneless chicken breast. Now if you wanna do these with skinless, boneless thighs, you can do that also. We are gonna take a green bell pepper. We're gonna chop it up. Now you want big pieces because it'll melt down in your crock pot. And if you do them too small, you won't be able to find them. <laughs> so we're gonna make these large chunks. go. I have a yellow onion. It's about a medium size. I'm going to take off the ends and peel off that outer layer. Now you want to cut these in big chunks also because onions will definitely melt in your crock pot. Okay, I have a pack of smoked sausage. It's about 13 ounces. We're gonna take that out of the package and we're going to slice these into rings. About a quarter of an inch thick. We're gonna place this in the crock pot over the chicken. We're going to add in one can of diced tomatoes, juice and all. Now this is 14 ounces. Now I love celery in this dish, so I've got about three ribs of celery. I'm going to just chop this up. If you don't like celery, you don't have to add it. I just find it adds a nice flavor. All right, let's go ahead and add this to the crock pot. I'm gonna pour in one cup of chicken broth. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and season. I've got some garlic powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Some black pepper, quarter of a teaspoon. got some salt, quarter of a teaspoon, just a pinch of some crushed red pepper. You don't even have to add this as optional. We're going to add some thyme. I like to add that when I'm cooking with chicken. We're going to put in some bay leaves. Now, when you cook with bay leaves, make sure you pull them out when the dish is done. I'm going to put three of them in. There we go. Just going to take a spoon and we're going to mix this all together. We're gonna place the lid on. We're gonna cook this on high for four hours or you can cook this on low for about eight hours. Okay, my chicken sausage rice is almost done in the crock pot. I'm gonna give it another 30 minutes and then in that time frame, I am going to show you how to make a delicious chicken flavored rice to put inside of our crock pot. Now I'm doing it this way so that the rice doesn't get too mushy in the crock pot. Now there's several different ways. If you want to use like a minute rice and you want to add that to your crock pot, that's fine. I would give it about 10 to 20 minutes to cook inside of there because there's plenty of juice inside of the crock pot for that. You can use regular long grain white rice. 
that's going to take longer, probably about an hour to an hour and a half to get that rice fully cooked. But you can wait until 30 minutes before your chicken is done, start your rice, cook that for 20 minutes and add that. Over high heat, I'm going to place just a medium skillet. I'm going to place in one and a half cups of chicken broth. One and a half cups of water, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, about a pinch of salt, which is about an eighth of a teaspoon, and a pinch of black pepper, again about an eighth of a teaspoon. We're going to bring this to a boil. I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. As it comes to a boil, I'm going to add in one and a half cups of uncooked long grain white rice. I'm just going to give it a stir. I'm going to place the lid on it. I'm going to turn the burner down to a low heat. We're going to cook this for 20 minutes. While the rice is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off of my chicken and sausage mixture there, and I'm going to pull out those bay leaves that we put in, because you do not want anybody to eat those. So I had put three of them in. I'm going to go ahead and pull three of them out. Looks so good in there. I'm going to be shredding my chicken, and so I want to make sure I get those bay leaves out before I shred the chicken because it'll be easier. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the chicken out because we are going to shred it. And then I'll look for those bay leaves. All right, we're going to toss the bay leaves. I've just got two forks and I'm just going to shred the chicken. Look how easy that is to shred. Four hours on high. Once I shred all this, I'm going to place it back into the crock pot. Gonna give this all a stir. And then once the rice is done, we're going to stir in that. Give it a stir very carefully. You don't want to mush the rice. Let that absorb all of the liquids in your pot here. All right, look at that. Chicken sausage rice with that delicious flavor going on in there. All right, let me bowl this up and give it a try for you. It's so full of flavor. If you got some chicken breast, put this one together, y'all. It is amazing. All right, thumbs up on this one. Don't forget to comment down below. What do you think of my non-jambalaya chicken, sausage, and rice in the crock pot? This is very delicious. All right, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will link the playlist to my crock pots down below in the description box. All right, I will see y'all on the next episode. Mm.